We have a soggy and chilly night ahead as temperatures have already fallen off into the lower 40s and you'll see rain is starting to push in from the southwest. We're going to be dealing with showers all night. Could even have some heavy rain at times, especially after midnight. Here's what that future track looks like getting into late this evening. We could have some areas of heavy rain after 12 a.m. And as we get into the morning, start to see that taper off from the south, but areas north of I-70 could even see some wet snowflakes trying to mix in with some of that rain. I'm not expecting impacts with that, but it's going to be cold, especially farther north, and we will likely see strong winds throughout the day with gusts up to around 35 to 40 miles per hour. Getting into the afternoon, temperatures north of Highway 24 only making it to the 40s, farther south about 50 degrees from Columbia to Jefferson City. We'll remain cloudy through most of the day with another area of low pressure trying to move in. That's going to bring us a chance for some light snow south of I-70 into Friday morning. Not expecting major road impacts here, but we could have a dusting on the grass as we get into early Early Friday morning. Here's 6 a.m. with a lot of that developing south of Jefferson City near the Lake of the Ozarks to Owensville to Fort Leonard Wood. Best shot of seeing a little light snow accumulation. That'll move out before midday and then we are left cold and breezy getting into Friday afternoon. High temperatures only make it to the upper 30s and we've got a chilly Saturday morning getting down into the 20s, but we're going to have some warmer temperatures on the way for the weekend. Here's how much rain to expect tonight into Thursday. Anywhere from around 1 to 2 inches, some higher amounts, especially where we have some of that heavier rain, but just about all of us seeing at least to about an inch to an inch and a half. Here's the snow tracker through Friday morning. Notice how any of those higher totals are off to our south. We have a better shot of seeing that snow linger a little bit longer, likely around a dusting to about a tenth of an inch of snow tops. As we get into the weekend, it gets much warmer. I'm expecting plenty of sunshine on sunshine on Saturday. That high gets up to about 47. And then for Super Bowl Sunday, it's going to be breezy, but a good day to get outside if you want to do any grilling for the big game. We're going to see temperatures up to about 56. Now getting into next week, it's going to remain mild. We'll start off in the 50s on Monday. And then Tuesday, I'll be tracking another chance for some rain. But once that clears, we could even see high temperatures getting close to 60 by Wednesday.